is actually kind of a fun game to play. It's called Target. And I loaded it from the floppy disk, so uh, it shows how convenient this is to load various programs. In a minute I'll load the Trek 80 program so you can see what it looks like. I don't actually know how to play it, but I'll load it. This is Trek 80. I'm not sure how to play it, but on the right you'll see a command. You can issue commands. I have no idea what we do, but then you get responses down below when various things happen. It's just a classic Star Trek game. Uh, they want to self destruct. What does that do? 14 seconds. <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Anyway, I guess that's what self-destruct does. <laughs> but anyway, this is a classic uh, Star Trek game. This next uh, game is just the, the classic game of life. You start out with a colony, and then there are certain rules for moving uh, and creating life, uh, and the colony will live or die depending on the initial size of the colony, and in the rules of the game and how things are moved about. I'm going to start with just a pre-programmed one, Pattern 4. You can create your own pattern and it's kind of a interesting game uh, if you understand the concept behind this game. I'm going to modify it slightly so it doesn't uh, last forever and then I will start the game by pressing the 1 which will uh, start implementing the rules of life and the, the colony can grow or it can disappear based on the rules of the game. It's a very classic game called the Game of Life. One last one, this is a pre-programmed pattern. And this one is where all life disappeared. You also notice there's a program on here called Star Trek, which is different than Trek 80. It's a character-oriented basic program uh, for Star Trek. Uh, okay, I haven't played it before, but I'll run it and just show you that it runs. And like I say, it's a, it's a character-oriented and asks if you want a briefing. And I'll, I don't know if I do or not, but we'll just say yes. And so it'll come up and it'll tell me what the mission's all about. And, you can read this for yourself. Yeah, yeah. The Klingon, Klingon battle fleet has entered the Federation space within hostile, as usual, intent. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, anyway, it, it then goes into kind of like a little rules thing, telling you what the commands are for the game. And, yeah, it's my dog barking. <laughs> See somebody else. He must be seeing these Klingons. So anyway, it's just a character oriented base, so now they're ready to start the game, so we'll pick a mission code and uh, preparing for departure, and it'll, it'll bring up some stuff on the screen here, and the game will start. And if you know how to play this game or want to play it, uh, it's a character oriented Star Trek game uh, on basic, loaded from floppy drive. The main point of showing all these programs is that it does come complete with a lot of programs and applications. The floppy drives do work, the program works, the SOL's working, uh, it's working great actually. One of the best ones I've ever had. Okay, you'll notice there's a program on here called Slots. It's a basic program, so I'm going to load basic by typing go basic slash dc, which is the, the basic program, and then I'm going to load the Slots program. And then when it loads, I will run it. 
And this is a non-graphic oriented slot machine game and you just basically uh, type in your bets and it'll tell you whether it's uh, whether you win or lose, it'll, it'll pick random things. <laughs> uh, this kind of goes the way real slots go, I lose every time. Well, I won that one, but anyway, it's just basically a character oriented uh, slot machine game. Keep in mind, this was 30 years ago. This was uh, before Atari, before graphics, before Microsoft. Uh, well, before they made it big, anyway. So anyway, this is a character-based uh, slot machine game. 